Publishers and instructional technology providers are grappling with a changing world as 45 states and the District of Columbia implement the Common Core state standards. Schools need help determining how they will use technology, what curriculum materials best align with the standards, and best prepare students for the assessments associated with those standards. Simba partnered with MCH Strategic Data on an internet survey of teachers to determine current use and need for core curriculum, formative assessments, and supplemental resources. One thing that may be surprising is the persistence of print. About 82% of survey respondents said their current core programs for both English language arts and math are primarily print-based. Also, about half of the survey respondents whose schools are planning new purchases will be looking for materials that are print-based. Another finding from the report is that schools cast a wider net when they are looking for supplemental resources. Schools indicated an interest in tapping state-developed programs, in-district developed programs, and internet source materials when they are looking for supplemental resources. For example, with open education resources, only 8% of survey respondents said open education resources are the source of their current or planned core program. But with supplemental resources, about 35% of respondents across all grade levels and in both English language arts and mathematics were interested in looking at open education resources as a supplement for their core instruction. The pre-K-12 instructional materials market had one of its roughest years in 2012. The industry generated just over $7 billion in sales, a 6.5% decline from 2011, according to Simba Information Estimates. Funding for instructional materials suffered as state budgets were cut and textbook op adoption opportunities were eliminated or reduced. Schools were reluctant to commit the funds they had because they knew standards and assessments would be changing. The implementation of the Common Core in 2013-2014 is helping the market rebound. A shared set of standards enables small companies to enter the market and benefits current providers as they can develop programs that meet one set of standards. A company no longer has to commit the resources to align a program to the standards of 50 states. A sound program aligned to the Common Core can be sold successfully in 45 states. Getting ready for the Common Core 2013-2014 will help strategic marketers and product developers at education companies as they look to seize opportunities in the U.S. school market. For more than three decades, Simba Information has published detailed market intelligence studies for the media and publishing industries with a specific emphasis on the education and professional publishing sectors. Each Simba report is constructed from the ground up with primary and secondary research, including in-depth interviews with executives, key equity analysts, librarians, distributors, and school administrators. Simba's analysts have extensive experience in the industries they cover, and their reports provide the essential market data with meaningful segmentations and forecasts, key competitive intelligence, and insights into the trends shaping the market's future. 